Our next, our next graduate is Nicole King. Nicole graduated cum laude and has been working as a full-time RN in the medicine department of the Cornwall Community Hospital. She recently received the opportunity to work as an obstetrical nurse on the Women's and Children's Health Unit beginning um, in September. Nicole would like her mother, Mary Patrick, a retired obstetrical RN of 45 years and personal role model to pin her today. Erica Provo. Erica graduated cum laude and is currently working as a full-time RN on the labor and delivery unit of the Winchester Memorial Hospital. Erica would like a member of the faculty to pin her today. Thank you. Cum laude and has been working as a full-time RN in the surgical department of the Coral Community Hospital since graduating. The faculty will be given by a faculty member today. That's okay. floor of RBH and then transitioned to the ICU. During that time, she also worked as an RN on the inpatient surgical floor of CHEO. In the coming month, she will be transitioning to the emergency department of RBH. Kelsey would like to have her granny and current obstetrical RN of 48 years, Heather Clement, to pin her today. Our next graduate is Bryson Renrick. Bryson has, you want to come up for uh, Bryson? Bryson began his career working as an RN as well as the Director of Staff Development at Maxville Manor Long-Term Care Facility. He provides and supervises care of over 120 residents. He also advocates education and provides orientation to newly hired staff within the home. Bryson would like his fiancée and RN Melanie Lepage to pin him today.
Congratulations. Our next graduate is Susie Rock. She's a faculty at the, <laughs> at the Cornell, uh, Cornell campus of St. Lawrence College since 2010, full time, if I recall. That's when I had my second baby. <laughs> All right. Our next graduate is Shannon McKinley. began her career as an RN in the ICU of the Cornell Community Hospital as well as the Ottawa General Hospital. Mary Ellen would like her sister and RN Shannon Anderson to pin her today. Our next graduate is Erica Brown. Erica has been working as an RN at the Dundas Manor long-term care facility in Winchester for just over a year. She's had an amazing experience working with the elderly population. She has learned a lot about adaptation to the changing environment working through the pandemic. She plans to further her education by completing her dialysis and diabetic education during for the next step in her career. Erica is honored to have her mother, Elena Holland, a hardworking and recently retired RN of 40 years, to pin her today. Graduate is Jade Gabri. Want to come up? Jade graduated with honors and is currently working as an RN with Diabetes Services as part of the Mohawk Council of Aquasasne Community Health Program. She's also working towards obtaining her credentials as a certified diabetes educator and foot care nurse. Jade would like her mother and RN Leanne King to pin her today. Graduate is Brittany White. Brittany graduated with honors and, and greatly enjoyed starting her career in the post anesthesia care unit. She recently received a job opportunity in the emergency department and is as a side to acute care. She's working as a public health nurse. She's also continuing her education and currently taking the operating room course. She would love to work in a trauma OR setting in the future. Brittany will be pinned by a faculty member today. Unit of the 
Cornwall Community Hospital and has been working towards her certifications necessary to work in the emergency department. She plans to continue her career as an emergency trauma nurse. Amanda would, uh, would like her personal mentor and RN, Stacy Carrier, to pin her today. graduate is Derek Dion. Derek began his career as an RN on the surgery unit of the Cornell Community Hospital shortly after graduating and has been working there since. Derek would like Ashley Bissonnette to put to pin him today. You're making the left-handed girl uh, struggle. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. It's pretty cool. Oh nice. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> graduated cum laude and is currently working as a full-time RN in the medicine department of the Cornwall Community Hospital. Mercedes will be pinned by a faculty member today. attend the ceremony today. Reed began his career as a new grad on the surgical unit of the Cornwall Community Hospital, where he was fortunate enough to work with a skillful and multidisciplinary team, treating and caring for pre- and post-operative patients. He's currently working as a public health nurse at the Eastern Ontario Health Unit, focusing on the handling, preparation, and administration of vaccines to the community. He's been awarded eye care value cards from CCH, from, for demonstrating compassion, respect, accountability, and engagement, further motivating his growth as a nurse. Reed is continuing his practice in preventative medicine within public health and looks forward to working with the community moving forward. Other, other 2020 graduates that were unable to attend today were Saad Mahmoud, who graduated cum laude and currently works as a correctional and mental health nurse. Anam Shakil, who began her career on the psychiatric unit of the Cornell Community Hospital and has now transitioned to the medicine department. Ash Ali, who currently works as a public health nurse at the Eastern Ontario Health Unit. Kellyanne De La Cruz, Maria Barker, Morgan Betnaz, who currently works as a public health nurse at the Eastern Ontario Health Unit. Berlinda Brenya. Alex Cleary, who currently works as a public health nurse at the Eastern Ontario Health Unit. Christabel D'Souza, who began her career in obstetrical nursing and now works as an RN in the emergency department of the Cornwall Community Hospital. Nelly Kasai, Miranda Knapp, Dominique Landry, who currently works on the M Medicine Department at the, of the Cornwall Community Hospital. Gabe Lozon, Andréanne Leroux, Isla McLean, Celia Ortiz Sanchez, who was the recipient of the Ellen Thompson RN Memorial Award with Lynn Villain. Celia Ortiz Sanchez, who was a recipient of the Ellen Thompson RN Memorial Award with Lynn Villa. Valerie Paquette, who was the recipient of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing Program Faculty Award. Locke Quack. Logan Reed, who began her career helping with the current pandemic, working as an RN on the COVID unit of the Peterborough 
Regional Health Center in Peterborough, Ontario. Azifa Syed, Amanda Tillard, and Samantha Ziegler. Congratulations to everyone. Hello everyone, it is with great honour that I present to you on such a memorable day. I could not be prouder of the class of 2020. This opportunity to be part of a unique pinning ceremony from the LU SLC BSCN class of 2020 graduates is truly an honour. I know we all wish circumstances were different so that we all could be together in person in a more formal setting, but nonetheless we will once again persevere. Despite all the challenges with finishing the BSCM program during a global pandemic, each of you are incredible graduates who demonstrated grace and resilience working extremely hard to be here today. You all work diligently and ambitiously with a dedication that is admirable and will serve you well in the future. Today, as we look to these amazing nursing graduates and soon to be RNs, which I should say many of you already are RNs, we should all feel a sense of pride for what they have accomplished. A nursing pinning ceremony isn't just a tradition, it's an important symbol of your hard work and dedication. But most importantly, this pivotal moment represents your transition from student to full-fledged nurse. Membership in a proud and loyal society of nurses. Nurses during the 1918 influenza pandemic were called courageous and I would say the same for nurses today. I couldn't feel more strongly about this group of nursing graduates who are stepping into healthcare environment that needs more of them. Graduating nursing school during a global pandemic is not for the faint of heart. The graduating class of 2020 have shown time and time again that they can do anything they put their mind to. However difficult and challenging these uncertain times have been, they have always looked at the positive and bright side. Their determination to make the best of the situation while shifting to a virtual learning platform demonstrates the adaptability and flexibility they will need to be a nurse today in 2020 and in the future. 2020 was the year of the nurse. It has been said the year of the nurse is a time to excel, lead, and innovate. I am confident the BSCN graduating class of 2020 will fulfill these goals and exceed our expectations. Behind you are all your memories of nursing school. Before you are all your dreams. Around you are all who love you. Within you, all you need to succeed as a nurse. The last four years have been spent attaining your passport to the future. Tomorrow belongs to those of you that prepare today. This is the beginning of your future as a registered nurse. As Florence Nightingale, the founder of Modern Nursing said, live life when you have it. Life is a splendid gift. There is nothing small about it. This is the last lesson that I am imparting to all of you. Remember, believe in yourself always and your ability to make an impact and to create change. I know each of you will make a difference and do great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. So on behalf of the graduating class of 2020, I want to thank you both for everything you did for us. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are today. So thank you very much. Yes, thank you guys very much thank for you coming. Very much. Uh, and thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, it's still the same thing. Oh, it's still the same you. thing, yeah. Our budget wasn't very high, so. Um, Andre, we just wanted to say thank you very much for allowing us to use your courtyard and going above and beyond for us for the class of 2020, going through the pandemic. And we just wanted to present you with this on wow. behalf of the class of 2020 for us to, our, to do our pinning ceremony wow. and providing us with the pins. Thank you. No problem. It's funny when I found out that uh, I asked the girls, when's your pinning ceremony? And I said, it's not going to happen. I said, no, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. we, we made it happen. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And this is so important because this is something you can't do it 20 years later. Because if you missed it, you missed it. And if yeah, we had to make it happen. And the pins are made. This year they're special because they're kind of made for the class of 2020. And uh, all I can say is thank you. You make a world of difference in our community and abroad. Uh, nursing today is the facets of nursing. It's, it's 
boom. Like it used to be, you were a nurse and that was it. Now it's like you, there's about a thousand different types of nursing. So it's kind of cool. So thank you for being frontline, keeping our, play, our, our community safe, and uh, just keep doing the great work that you're doing. And the profs, thank you so much. We're lucky to have that in our community. So that's why I endorse the project. I love, I love making people feel super. Yeah. <laughs> Job well done. Thank you. Well, thank you. How did you fit a sweatshirt in here, though? Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Can I open it? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Just a little. Oh, little my favorite restaurant. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna bring my wife and my daughters. <laughs> thank you. This is You're so welcome. cool. Thank you. That's very nice. Hi everybody, uh, thank you so much for coming to the 2020 graduate pinning ceremony. As if it already is the summer of 2021, can we give ourselves a big round of applause for doing this profession for one year already? Holy smokes. If there's anything I've ever had to give ourselves a big pat on the back for, it's the fact of being part of this profession and, and joining this whole profession at such a crucial, important time within the healthcare field. I think we can all say confidently that this past year has been nothing but, you know, difficult times for all of us, not only in, you know, in the profession, but outside of the profession, you know, our, our home lives, our lifestyles, everything has changed. And, you know, our hands are, are, are right in, into the, the heart of it, you know, like we're, we're really involved with this entire situation right now. And I think sometimes we need to reflect and think, Holy smokes! I've I've been doing this for one year, and you know we did four years of education. When you look back at it and think, "Wow, we we did all that already," and, and time is flying by. You know, sometimes reflection is necessary to realize how much we've accomplished, and give ourselves a big round of applause to realize, you know, how much we've accomplished as individuals. For some of us. This is the year milestone that you've written and completed your NCLEX. And just think about that. One year ago today, you know, you were thinking about knowing everything for the NCLEX, questioning if you know everything. Are you good enough? Are you smart enough? And the answer to that question today is absolutely yes. So you have to give yourselves a big round of applause to realize, you know, you did it, you made it, and you jumped into the profession at the busiest, most difficult time it's ever been in, in a long time. So... Uh, thank you, Nicole, for running this whole event, and you know, thank you everyone for being here today. So take care. Hello, class of 2020. That still feels weird to say. What a year and a half it's been. I won't even attempt to sum it up because I can only imagine what each of you, all your families and friends have been going through and continue to go through. So congrats on persevering and being here today, despite these circumstances. Four years can be a very short or a very long chunk of life. I personally felt that these past four years of nursing school absolutely flew by, and it is completely amazing how different we are as people compared to our first day, first year. Um, all of our young little baby faces not having a clue what would happen over the course of four years, but here we are. I must say that looking forward, um, one of my favorite things post-graduation is bumping into classmates and seeing where everyone is in terms of their careers, their jobs. Um, some knew from day one exactly where they wanted to start working, some didn't, and that's great. It's amazing to see what we are learning more and more from different fields and aspects of nursing. As well, I love bumping into the ones who helped us along the way. It's such a proud feeling being seen in your work environment as a nurse by those previous mentors, preceptors, professors, and colleagues. Um, they do say it takes about a village to raise a nurse or something along the lines of that, so we really do have those supporters to thank. And I would also like to take the time to recognize some of our classmates who busted through challenges when some would buckle, to the parents, the caregivers, the selfless breadwinners, and to the ones that wanted to make a change even when timing was not on their side. Not everyone has provided the same opportunities, the same privileges, or even the same chances right out of the gate. So for this, I do commend you. Although this transition into becoming registered professionals has been rushed, weird, and not feeling real at all, I hope you are each able to take the time to celebrate that we did make it through four years of a very extremely challenging yet rewarding course. So good on every single one of you. It is difficult to know whether we're doing the right thing or not, or even if we're working in the right environment. Um, so sometimes reminding ourselves why we even entered this field is a great way to ease our minds through reflection. 
The art of reflection is used every single day in nursing, as we are all well aware of, since we did about half a million reflections in nursing school. Um, but even throughout school, the more and more we did these reflections, the more beneficial they became, uh, knowing what we've done in the past, planning for the future, and honestly, the day that we stop reflecting and learning is the day that we are either retired or long gone. And lastly, I wanted to keep this to the end, um, but on one of our first days, uh, first year as first year students, um, the lovely Margaret Wheeler was teaching our class and she placed one of these pieces of paper on each one of our desks. And it was actually a poem that, uh, that struck close to home for Margaret. So um, I am actually just going to quote a couple lines from it. Uh, it was written in the perspective of an elderly female patient. And I think it's a really, really good reminder that everyone, are, everyone is human. Uh, we all live meaningful lives. And we always, as nurses, need to treat the person, not the patient or the diagnosis. What do you see, nurse? What do you see? What do you, what are you thinking when you look at me? So open your eyes, nurses. Open and see. Not a crabby old woman. Look closer. See me. It's an honor and a pleasure to be able to speak on behalf of our class for this pinning ceremony alongside Bryce and Runwick. Uh, I just wanted to thank uh, all of our hardworking organizers to make sure this went off without a hitch, as well as Andre Pommier for setting up this gorgeous venue and providing all of the beautiful pins that you do see here today. So having said that, here's to getting pinned and congrats to the Cornwall St. Lawrence College Laurentian University Bachelor of Science in Nursing Class of 2020.